Uh, just want to see guys that are ready to compete and ready to have um, a fresh set of eyes on them um, to where they can, whether they have in the past earned spots and starting spots and all that, I'm going to encourage the team to know that everybody's competing with a fresh set of eyes on them. And so whatever they've done in a positive or a negative way in the past is uh, pretty much irrelevant to us um, newcomers on the staff. And we're just looking for a, a fresh set of competition where the players in the program feel as though they have an equal opportunity to play. As long as they deserve it, they will be the ones that play, regardless of scholarship amount or any of the other uh, things that guys look at as indicators. We just want the best guys out there, and, and it'll be our first chance to be able to see guys compete for those jobs. What's kind of the goal in fall ball? What do you hope to kind of accomplish at this point in the season? Well, number one, come out of it healthy. Number two, come out of it to where guys uh, have a championship mindset and an understanding of what that means in terms of their daily work and what they need to put in to uh, eventually um, become a champion. You mentioned a couple weeks ago that after coming back from a couple months out on the road recruiting, you were still in the process of learning a lot about this program and absorbing as much as you could about the program. What have you learned in the last couple weeks since? Well, you learn a lot, you know, you learn a lot. And I think the things that I've learned the most so far is that I've got a group of guys that are hungry and ready to see, uh, I'm ready to see what they can do. Um, the stuff that I've learned about the program, um, I, you know, I don't know, that's time will tell. That'll be coming in the coming months and that. Um, for me, it's real simple. I think there's a real awareness inside the locker room about what hasn't happened. Uh, there's a disappointment in the locker room that things haven't happened the way that they've wanted them to happen. And uh, from my seat, it's going to be about um, maybe addressing some of the negative stuff that's happened in the past uh, and trying to spin that into a positive in some way um, to where guys can start earning things slowly to where they can earn their way into championship stuff. Um, right now, I don't believe that there's a mindset right now um, that feels as though they should be champions, and that's probably pretty accurate. You guys made some changes. Uh, you're going to changing the turf and bringing in the bringing in the fences, what went into those decisions? Those decisions uh, are pending right now. They're not pending to desire by anybody to want to do them. It's just a matter of us getting them right. Uh, I want to create more fan interest. So any change that we make to the baseball field or anything else for that matter is going to be uh, largely involved about how we can get more interest in, in, uh, in the baseball team and to increase attendance. So whether it's speed of the turf or moving fences in or you know, concession sales or whatever, I mean, the things that we're going to try to do is uh, increase attendance and increase fan interest. It seems that the modern trend in baseball is to dive more into the analytics of it. Has Oregon tried to implement that this offseason and get, look, look more into deeper stats of players and where to play them? Yeah, big time. We've actually hired an analytics department now. Um, you know, former Duck Brett Thomas is back in house with us. Uh, he's going to dive into a lot of the analytics side with hitting. Uh, Daryl uh, Daryl Hunter, who was the first Duck that Coach Horton signed here to a letter of intent when the program came back. Um, he's now our strength and conditioning coordinator and pitching analytics coordinator as well. And so they've both uh, hired a staff of people underneath them to try to best implement the new analytics stuff and technology that we've now purchased and is in the program. Um, and so uh, it's, all this, it's all basically how can we best develop a student athlete. And right now analytics is on the cutting edge of it. And so if we can gain any edge towards the development of our student athletes, we're going to look everywhere we can. And that's just one way. Where do you expect your win to be for fall and heading into the season? Any idea what you can get? Um, time will tell. You know, I mean, he's coming back. He's uh, progressing through all the things that he had, whatever they were with his injuries and so forth. So he's progressing, and I know he's chomping at the bit to get out there. He's practicing, practicing with us on a daily basis. You got Scanlon and Stedman listed as pitcher, infielder, or pitcher and a hitter. Will those guys both potentially? Will we try them out of both, or do you have an idea if those guys will be pitching? Yeah, any two-way guy, uh, we're going to bring him in, and we're going to let him have a chance. Uh, Kasovich as well, anybody who is a pitcher uh, outfielder, pitcher catcher, pitcher infielder, uh, any way that they possibly can help the team, we're going to look for any chance for them to help the team. Not using a false.